My name is Bernie Schmidt. I'm Vice President of Operations for Chamco Incorporated. This company was founded on the principle of a clean energy future. In every facet of engineering, design, and implementation, we include this principle. We are dedicated to carrying this message to the world to responsibly satisfy their energy needs. We have extensive experience in the area of large and small wind energy development, industrial, commercial, institutional, and utility scale, and solar energy implementation of all types for small and large clients in fields, on buildings and structures, building integrated and utility scale, in waste to energy plant, cutting edge and environmentally friendly design and construction from small to large plants, in sewer treatment plants that are not only clean water for reuse, but also capture usable energy to make electricity, run vehicles, or serve as fertilizer for the enrichment of the soil. Now I would like you to watch a short video on a traditional incineration waste and electricity plant, or otherwise referred to as a WTE plant. The incineration method of uh, waste energy starts very simply with the weekly pickup of garbage. Here we see a residential pickup. The truck then arrives at the facility. It pulls into a negatively charged pressure uh, environment, and that's done for the uh, refuse smell, and pulls right up to a large bin where it then dumps the, the trash. You can see behind the uh, columns the huge piles of, of trash that have been delivered. Some of these plants will take up to 2,000 to 4,000 tons of garbage a day. It's also helped along with a front end loader which pushes the trash into the position so that the cranes and the crane operators can then get a hold of the trash, get large quantities of time and deliver them to the incinerator. Now you see the fire, that's the incineration. And this burns at temperatures over a thousand degrees centigrade. And that's to create steam. That fire is running a boiler and that boiler creates steam. And this gentleman is watching that whole process uh, through cameras and computer operated equipment. And here we have a, uh, the, the byproduct of the fire, which is basically ash. And that ash, some places it's made uh, building materials such as blocks. Here it's stored in large bins for pickup. Uh, it may, in this case, be pickup for to a landfill. Much of this in the United States and other parts of the world is, is buried in a landfill, but it's about 10% of volume of the original trash. And also the key thing I want to point out here is, is all the pollution control equipment. When you burn garbage straight as incineration. There's a lot of byproducts and a lot of pollutants and that necessitates all this equipment to clean up the air before it's delivered into the environment. In the video you have just seen, notice that the waste is burned soon after delivery to the plant. This method cannot avoid the massive byproducts and pollutants that result from the burning. Our engineers have developed an alternate and more environmentally friendly method of converting waste to electricity, a process that leaves very little to no byproducts and pollutants. This method uses synthetic gas for fuel. This method starts with what is called RDF, refuse derived fuel, and takes the form of a pellet or a briquette. The plant operation starts the same as the incineration method garbage being delivered in trucks and dumped and sorted at the facility. Here the waste goes through its last sorting before getting transformed into RDF. In this schematic of the incineration method of WTE, it shows the large filtering equipment required to remove the pollutants and byproducts before the burn-off can be released into the environment. This is in contrast to the RDF synthetic gas method which uses the process of paralysis. 
to allow the RDF to convert to synthetic gas and usable ash. The gas is then delivered to specifically designed fuel burning engines that burn the gas cleanly and then run the generators to create the electricity. The ash byproduct is then used for building materials. We are proponents of clean energy applications and allowing our clients to be of the highest standard when it comes to environmental stewardship and creating a clean energy environment. We believe that the community and the clean energy production plant should be able to coexist in the same environment. Agricultural uses, residential communities, parks and recreational areas, all existing together with clean energy production. We believe the opportunity is here to show the world how energy should be made, creating clean energy sources and promoting environmentally responsible use of the land and its resources. Renewable energy can help you achieve these goals today.